What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. If you guys did not know, myself, Mayor, Cam's Kicks, we did a sneaker panel at the Jeff Knight Sneaker Convention. I will be uploading that sneaker panel as well. Just wait on it. Make sure you watch it, because again, it's some gems in there. Also, if you missed the live myself, Mayor, and Jeff Nice did last week, watch it. There's some gems in there. I keep saying it because I want y'all to watch it. I want y'all to learn, especially new sneakerheads. Old sneakerheads is something for everybody to take a piece from and actually grow from. Also, I finally got some of my Travis Scott merch in. The Travis Scott Calls t-shirts. I think that's what it is. Yeah, these joints kind of decent, low key. These are long sleeves. I haven't received all of the merch in yet. So if y'all did receive y'all Travis Scott merch, Make sure y'all hit me up and let me know. I know there's still a lot more merch out there that we did purchase, but if y'all started to get y'all merch in, please let your boy know. On top of that, Army, just like I did with the Air Jordan 3 Race of Blues, we got some Air Jordan 11 Low IEs in. So if you did take an L on these, I got size 7.5, 8, 8.5, nine and a half, 11, 11 and a half, and 12 available for you guys now. I'm doing 205 ship on these sizes available. Again, size seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, nine and a half, 11, 11 and a half, and 12 is available. 205 ship. Hit me up on IG if you want a pair. If you do not have IG, you can DM me at unbreakablekicks at yahoo.com. Now, Let's get to the festivities, man. I'm going to start it off with some bad news, okay? And then we're going to work our way to some good news. Bad news as expected. The Air Jordan 4 Red Thunders are potentially getting pushed back to December. Now, when we seen that the Air Jordan 5 shattered backboards, in which I do have that video up, make sure you guys go and check it out. Once I did hear about those being pushed to October 2nd, the day that the Air Jordan 4 Red Thunders was supposed to come out, I knew that we were going to get a pushback. Now, the pushback hurts for a couple reasons. One, I wanted them joints. I wanted them joints. I like them. I think that that is going to be another one of those Air Jordans that just take the world by storm. That's one reason. Second reason is the month of December is full. I'm talking about full of heat. Let's not even mention a week before we get into December, we got the Air Jordan 6 Midnight Navies that's dropping. I cannot wait for those. It's the first time that we've had that shoe in 21 years, and I've never owned that shoe, so I'm very, very thirsty for the Air Jordan 6 Midnight Navy. Plus, on top of that, the month of December, we're looking at the Air Jordan 4 Red Thunders if they push them to December. Then we got the Air Jordan 5 J Horizon. I feel like that is going to be another nice Air Jordan 5 that a lot of people are going to like. I'm starting to see people get their Air Jordan 5 Bluebirds in, so hopefully I can have an early review for you guys soon on those. We got the Air Jordan 11 Cool Grays, a shoe that everybody's going to go crazy for for the month of December. And, and, and I'm expecting a shock drop for the Air Jordan 11 Cool Gray. So yes, that will be the next shot drop. We going into October. I honestly don't see them shot dropping anything. It could be a potential shot drop on the Air Jordan 6 Midnight Navies, but if they drop the Air Jordan 11 Midnight Navies after Thanksgiving and the day after Black Friday, I'm assuming that they're gonna drop the Air Jordan 11 Cool Grays early too. I think that we're gonna get maybe exclusive access on the Air Jordan 6 Midnight Navies, but they always, 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 always shock drop the Air Jordan 11. So that is probably gonna be the next major shock drop that we get. And the good thing about the Jordan 11 Cool Grays dropping on the 11th is that it still gives people two weeks just in case they take an L on release day. You still got two weeks to find a pair to put under the tree for your family members. You got the Air Jordan 1 Retro High Handcraft. I'm good on those. Those joints kind of remind me of the Air Jordan 1 prototypes. Not with the little dotted lines that you can cut, but it's like a Biohack 3.0. I don't know what's up with Jordan brand giving us these wacky colors. But these are definitely screaming like the Jordan 1 prototype mixed with like an Air Jordan 1 biohack. But these would have been nice if they would have just kept like that mocha colorway and just put it throughout the entire shoe. Because those was how the original Jordan 1 mochas was supposed to look. Just like these, but minus that 
Violet you got on the heel and minus that 3M and that 3M again is kind of giving me that Air Jordan 1 prototype vibe. Not to mention we got the Air Jordan 1 bread patent leathers dropping too, the Jordan 1 re-image, whatever they want to call them. Those are going to be crazy. Then on top of that we got the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG SE Women's Exclusive, the bubblegum joint. I feel like those are going to be a major, major sneaker for Jordan brand as well. Them joints are nice. I've seen a pair of those at SneakerCon Chicago, and I'm like, yeah, these gonna do numbers. And then you got the Air Jordan 13 Black Core Purple. So December is stacked. December is stacked. November is stacked as well. We'll talk about November later on, but December is stacked. November is stacked. Honestly, after the month of October, things are gonna be moving so fast, y'all, that we might not even be able to keep up. So I guess that's some bad news about the Jordan 4s getting a pushback, but some good news that December is going to be stacked. Next up, I want to talk about the rumors that there will be two new colorways in the Air Jordan 1 Low Travis Scott. Now, I ain't going to stop. I got to give my man Travis Scott his props. Reason being is because Travis Scott made the Air Jordan 1 Low cool again. I'm not even going to say cool again. Let's say he made the Air Jordan 1 Low cool because... A lot of people was not rock with Air Jordan 1 Lows. Air Jordan 1 Lows was outlet bound as soon as we seen them, as soon as we heard about them. But now this man is getting two new colorways, which means that what? This OG right here is going to skyrocket in price. We see what the Travis Scott low frags are doing. Now, it would be dope if Jordan Brand continues to do the collab. So let's say if next year we get an Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott calls collab. I feel like when you do Travis Scott by himself, it's cool. Then if you do Travis Scott with somebody else, it's better. So I'm expecting 2022 to be a roller coaster of a ride as well. Now, I don't know if you guys follow DJ Khaled on IG as well, but he showed Drake and Fat Joe some of the new samples that he got coming out with Jordan Brand too. And I'm expecting that those going to drop next year as well. It is going to be crazy. But again, I still got to give Travis Scott his flowers again because... Again, nobody was rocking Jordan 1 Lows. You had, a, you had a small community that was rocking Jordan 1 Lows. I feel like anything this man touches, people are going to buy. Travis Scott didn't have from the best of shoes to the worst of shoes. You get Travis Scott an Air Force One, it's selling like crazy. You get Travis Scott an Air Max, it's selling like crazy. You get Travis Scott a weird, what was it, like a, a Air Max 270. It's sold. Now he getting a regular Air Max. It's going to go crazy. You get this man a Jordan 1, it sells. A Jordan 6, it sells. Whatever this man touches, it sells. You give him an SB Dunk, it sells. So I got to give Travis Scott his flowers, bro, because he is killing it. I don't think, at, as of right now, I don't know who in the music industry or what celebrity could do what Travis Scott is doing. Comment down below and y'all let me know who y'all think is touching Travis Scott like Drake is my man. Drake is my boy. Drake is one of my favorite rappers, favorite artists, whatever. Numbers don't lie. We ain't got time. We'll argue tomorrow about this, okay? But I think that Travis Scott has surpassed Drake as far as just the influence when it comes to sneakers. I think he has done it, and I'm not afraid to admit that. The only next challenge for Travis Scott to do is to do this right here. And that's give him a Jordan 1 Travis Scott mid. If they give Travis Scott a mid, and I can guarantee all this, mark it down, September 22nd, 2021, Break said that Jordan Brand is going to give Travis Scott a Jordan 1 mid. All of a sudden, we see Michael Jordan wearing a Jordan 1 mid. Let's keep it a buck. Since Jordan has retired, I don't really remember seeing pictures of Mike wearing a pair of Jordan 11 Concords or Jordan 11 Breads, or Jordan 3 Black Cements, or Jordan 4 White Cements. You rarely ever see Mike wearing some of his, you know, original 1 through 14s. Again, I haven't seen Jordan wear a 1 through 14 that we know of. You know, I'm talking about an OG colorway. We got Mike wearing some, you know, the heat reflective mids. Travis Scott is going to come out with a Jordan 1 mid, and once he do that, and that sucker sells, Travis Scott will 100% be goaded. That will prove that whatever this man touches, it sells. And I guarantee you that is next on the list. Y'all see they did like a Jordan 1 Oregon Mid PE. Now, I haven't seen anybody selling it. I highly doubt anybody is interested in it. But clearly Jordan Brand and Nike are moving towards the mids to bring some popularity out of the mids. Again, we know Lowe's, 
We know dunks, all those joints have been busting because of like TikTok, IG influencers, TikTok influencers, etc. But again, if Travis Scott, Kylie Jenner, heck, even they baby Stormy, if if whoever one of them rocking a pair of Travis Scott one mids is gonna go crazy. I wanna say Stormy probably had on a pair of the joints that we're gonna get next year. You know, so Travis Scott is goaded. But he will be crowned goaded if they do drop a Travis Scott mid. Because I guarantee you that joint will sell out 100%. So, Army, y'all let me know how y'all feel about everything. Again, the Air Jordan 4 Red Thunders potentially being pushed back to December. Jordan 11 Cool Grays will be the next shot drop. I'm saying it now. Putting it out there in the atmosphere. And I'm also saying that we have yet to see the last of the Jordan 1 Travis Scott Fragma Highs. That price got to come down. And it's going to come down when they drop some more pairs. Remember the Army? Two members of the Army actually hit me up the other day and said, Break, pairs just hit. The UK, all right? So if they hit in the UK, they gonna hit the United States. And I'm telling y'all, it is not over with for them Travis Scott Fragment High. So I'm still gonna be patient. So other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable Vault. Unbreakable Army, stand strong like always. And like the merch says, hug your loved ones because guess what? I got some, whew, I got some stuff cooking, y'all. And y'all gonna love it. Y'all are going to love it. Army, I love y'all. I'll see y'all on the next one. And we out.